Welcome to tutorial two for InFocus Switch. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can group and ungroup job folders. Where this function is important is when you need to be able to take a job folder, ungroup it so you can get at the individual components for processing, and then reassemble the job at the end of a flow or at the end of several flows. We'll start off by creating a new flow. As we've done in previous tutorials, select the New Flow button and then rename your flow Tutorial 2. Now we're going to lay a series of flow elements, starting off with an input folder. Next, we're going to take the ungrouped job flow element and place it onto the workspace. Now we're going to follow this by a series of folders so we can sort our job folder and take the elements and put them in two separate groups. In this case, we're going to create a flow for PDFs, as well as a place to sort all other files coming in from any particular job folder. This is representative of taking our job elements and splitting them off into two separate flows. For our tutorial, however, we're going to go ahead and recombine them here in this single flow. For that, we're going to use the assembled job flow element. As you'll see here, we have to change some settings. We want to be able to collect ungrouped jobs at this particular point, and we also want to make sure that we read down into the subfolder structure that was captured when the job was ungrouped. Here we're going to place a final folder in which to capture the final reassembled job. With all our flow elements in place, we'll go ahead and connect all the flow elements. As you may remember from tutorial one, Connecting your folders is as simple as double-clicking on the folder you're starting with and then clicking on the folder you intend to connect to. Now we're going to set some sorting parameters. We'll be sending all our PDFs up to the PDF folder on top. And then we'll be sending all other files to the lower folder. Now we're going to take a moment and clean up our flow by selecting everything on the horizontal We'll use the Align Horizontal command to go ahead and clean things up. Now we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and activate our flow. But before we submit our job, let's go ahead and put these two connections on hold. What this will do is allow us to actually see the file separated from the initial job folder. By just dragging and dropping our job folder into the input folder, our job is now ready for processing. As you will see here in a second, the job will process and will sort out appropriately with PDF files going to the upper folder and everything else going to the lower folder. One thing to note, when a job folder is ungrouped, all the individual elements, including those elements within a subfolder, also are ungrouped and then move throughout the workflow as individual files. Now let's go ahead and release one of our connectors, allowing the files in the lower folder to move forward to the Collect folder. You'll notice that they'll wait for the rest of the files in that particular job before they do the final assembly. When we release the top folder, now those files will move forward and the final job will be assembled. And you'll see it's completely reassembled just as it was originally when we submitted the job. And that concludes Tutorial 2. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at how Switch can help you manage hierarchical folder structures. This can be very useful to keep client jobs together, as well as for archiving.